Um, good morning. This is my Friday sews. I haven't done a Friday sews for a couple of weeks. Um, I've had a hand injury and wrist injury and anyway, I've been having some trouble with my hand. And so I haven't sewn as much as I thought I would manage to sew in this little gap we've got before we uh, are packing up even more things in my sewing room. So I'm a bit frustrated about that, but I have got some way into um, cutting out and just starting the process of making a robe that I'm wanting to make for the Precious Fabric 24 challenge. So that is ongoing but it's stalled a little bit at the moment. The other thing I wanted to say is I've got a bit frustrated because I did want to finish this dress. Now I don't usually introduce myself and do a video in a dress that isn't finished. It is completely finished apart from these sleeves being turned up and this has been several weeks that these sleeves have not been turned up yet and I was I am quite frustrated that I've not got back to that but it's difficult to do um kind of little maneuvers that are, anyway I don't need to explain it really but it um it has I've made progress with my my wrist and then you just automatically do something that you don't realize is going to cause any problem and it just starts off again so I'm wearing the glove and the glove is not exactly for supporting itself it does help but it's more to remind me Susan, don't just pick that up <laughs> without realising that it could be heavy. So, or it's not even if it's heavy, it's just a way of, um, if I just tweak it in a certain way, it goes back to being a nuisance. But I did manage, I'm so pleased, I managed to go to the North West Sewing Social on Wednesday, which would have been the 18th of, 18th of September. Yes, so last week I was able to go um, but I didn't have anything for you to do a Friday sews and yes, so I managed to go. I managed to very carefully move my machine about. Um, I wore my glove to, to remind me again, but all I took, I'm so pleased with myself. All I took was a bag full of cut up scraps. And these are scraps that are kind of in re rectangles anyway, and or just little bits of crumb, crumb scraps, but nothing that I needed to be too, fussy with hand wise so I'll just show you um I've already done some of these but I just took some of these to to just join together I didn't I didn't do I did hardly anything I didn't have to pick up the big iron and do any proper ironing I just could it, it just worked out well that I just I played and I chatted and I caught up with people because I hadn't been since May and I think the May one was a Sunday so I hadn't seen the crowd that I know for a long time really so I caught up with them and the lovely Shirley um she was such a beginner when we went when we first start when I first started and she'd been making cushion covers that she was a bit nervous about because someone had asked her and they thought she could do it and she didn't know if she could do it and she did manage them and then um oh it's just lovely to see her progress and her and Janet have been going to a little um some sewing lessons as well and have really teamed up in what they're doing and um and and looking at what Shirley's been making now hi Shirley <laughs> sorry for talking about you as if you're not here because you're not <laughs> but a lovely sewing machine mat with putting her tools in and she's just it's just so lovely to see and if there are any issues there it's all you know people can ask one of us more experienced ones or one of one of the more experienced ones than I am that or have you brought a have you got a needle i'm not sure why it's doing this and um it's just a lovely community sorry i'm just catching some it's just a lovely community and i was really pleased i could manage to go so that was good and um so i just expanded a few of these some of these were already made i may have shown them before but uh it just was just simple i didn't have to worry about not remembering things cutting things out that were <laughs> that i'd cut out twice or upside down or whatever like i've done before because i get too carried away with people um so it was nice to do that in my own time just um share some lunch with people have a little chat catch up with people i've known met met new people that was lovely too and and share something about what's going on with me as well in our, in our um, in mine and Ellen's journey in the fact that we're going to be going living in an annex on our 
in our family's garden <laughs> so um we could have a chat about that as well and could share my updates with that um i feel a bit strange now having this on that's all raw on the edges but i just wanted to show it you so i'll just do a little twirl for you as well i'll add a little twirl in um yeah but i do love it and i just want to finish it and i do i will when i get my uh confidence back in putting another buttonhole in just because it all went wrong with my machine not anything else um i had to unpick at the buttonhole and it was really worrying me that i would go through the fabric in getting it out and anyway i managed not to but i will put another button hole in because it does sit and stay where it is and it it is fine when you have it open there but i do like to know that i've got the button on if I should need it. Well, if I should prefer it, and I do like the buttons I chose. I, I think they were from Fabrics at Fleetwood, but they pick out one of the less bright and cheery pieces, uh, um, tones in the fabric. But I do like them. I did get some lilac ones initially that went with these, with one of these lilacs. And I did like those, but I did wear, I, I chose to put them on the blue blouse that I'm continually altering. <laughs> and I'd initially put pink wooden buttons on, but they had scratched away at the actual um, stitching on the buttonholes. And so I wanted to, wanted to change them and I changed them for a lilac one. And I can't get any more. I got them from John Lewis in somewhere. Oh, the Trafford Centre. But they didn't have any more anyway they only i only bought the one ones that they had if that makes any sense anyway so um just kind of chatting about what i'm wanting to do or have been doing it has been just simple things like like putting it putting together the um the robe which i don't i've put away the things now i think Anyway, there will be a video about that. So I'll put a link, a link below about that video um, and just how I've gone on in what I've decided to make with the fabric, which pattern I used, why I chose it, why I chose to make a robe with it, which fabric, everything um, will be in that video. So I don't need to go on about that for you, with you. Um, plans going forward, it is about trying to look at what autumn wardrobe i've got and what things i've got that uh, what what gaps that i've got so i want to look at that but i don't want to get too enthusiastic about that um because i don't want any pressure on my hand <laughs> because i've still got a shed to paint <laughs> and um yeah so i think that's all i've got to talk to you about really it's nothing um I'll, I'll show you the dress. I'll do you a little twirl in it. I do love my Take the Chance dresses. This is my third one. And I am looking forward to, even in the winter, I'll be able to wear this with a thicker underskirt underneath. And my, as as Rachel from the French seam says, a thermal vest. And a thermal vest with a polo neck underneath it, I think, because it's quite, it's, it's quite ample in size. I have the um, ties on the back so I can cinch it in when I want to or not. But it will look nice with boots anyway so i'm pleased about it and um yeah i just wanted to put it on and share some of the joy because i just think it's such a lovely fabric and i have been wearing my purple french terry dress i'll just reach for it because i've got it up here i perhaps pop, pop in a twirl or two because i've been catching up with videos they're not quite finished i've still been doing bits here on and there on filming which i can do without much hassle with my hand so that's okay so i did do some filming the other day with this on and um it's just uplifting i love the color i love when i made it my video that of of my sew along or come and sew with me has about four thousand views or something weird um but i did it really back in my early early uptake of um my fair my fairly early return to sewing that i did during the the time of covid so um i'm really pleased with it and i just i'd like to find 
something as substantial as this, but with the same, a, a yarn dyed fabric that's got the same on the back, rather than it being white on the back. Um, so I don't want to particularly to be buying any more fabric. Oh, I have bought some fabric. Some fabric has arrived. I had expected to get it. I had shared that I was having it and um, that did arrive. I did, I did, dis oh, there was a 20% sale off at Minerva. So I got the fabric. I'd been waiting to see when the next one was because I'm in their craft club. You get an extra 10% off. So it was a 10% sale plus the 10% off. So I got the fabric that I wanted. And I'm just looking at whether I can reach down for it, but I think it's downstairs. I'll get that and I'll hold it up for you in a little while. And uh, two patterns have arrived. I've been watching people making the Holland Park dress and I do have some fabric that I would like to use for that Holland Park dress, sparked by the notion of looking what my special fabrics and my precious fabrics are. And um, I don't know when I will be able to start that and whether it's more of a spring make for that anyway. And um, given that my life is going to change quite considerably, that I'll be living in a cabin in a field. <laughs> <laughs> I will have a life outside that, but I have to just be a bit more practical about what I make and um, what I take. So that's that. So I have got the two patterns. So one for the Nina Lee Holland Park dress, which I'm looking forward to tackling, but obviously it needs a bit of fiddling about, so it won't be for a while. And the, oh, I'm going to have to bring it up, aren't I? So I have to pause go and get it and show it to you. But I've looked at it a number of times. It's another Nomi pattern. It's been made by a number of people that I, I follow. So Amelia made it in her Liberty fabrics. I think it was the one she did in Liberty. And um, a number of other people have made it. Anyway, if you didn't watch the video of my last Friday sews, you won't have seen me jumping about on a trampoline in my one of my other take the chance dresses so i will add that footage to the end of here as well just in case you want to stay till the end or whiz to the end and see me gallivanting in a take the chance dress that took the chance of jumping up and down on a trampoline um yeah so i'll just get the two I'll get the pattern. I'll put a picture in of what the Holland Park dress looks like. I never give the details of it's from this size to that size. I don't have that kind of mind. I, I just trust that if you're really interested in that in a, in a pattern, you will look it up yourself. It takes just a couple of minutes to to um, tap on the fold line or some pattern company or whatever and find out the details for yourself. And I think it can be more relevant then when you've actually moved to do that rather than holding lots of information. Um, so I, I, that's just the way I roll, um, if, if that's not OK for you. There are so many people who give lots and lots of details about patterns and patterns rev pattern reviews and sizing and um, fabric measurements and everything. I, I'm just a kind of just pop in and say hi and this is where I'm up to and I hope you're doing well as well so anyway I'm just um I'll also pop in the pattern for this I want to make another one but what I've learned is that I didn't really think of then and didn't know until I've I've worn it a few times that it needs to just have a little bit nipped off at the neckline over to the shoulder because it just gets a little bit, it starts to come off my shoulder. Um, but I do love it. You've got, you can have it that way around. You can do, you can just do two neck, round necklines, two V necklines. You can do a, sh a short top. You can do one with a, just with a peplum. There's lots of options with it. Um, and I didn't use as stretchy a fabric as I should have done or as it recommends, but I've got away with it. And if I had a stretch, a more like a viscose jersey or something, it probably would have more stretch in that it would hold itself down a bit more. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. I'm really pleased that I've been able to wear this. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'll just get those patterns and that fabric. I don't think you'll be surprised in what it is. So. There, so I went downstairs. 
I got carried away with doing something else and I think Alan mentioned what we're going to have for tea or something anyway and I completely forgot what I was doing. I forgot to bring the pattern up, I forgot to bring the fabric up. Here is the pattern, I've been down and got it. I've also, uh, it's quite chilly downstairs and it reminded me that I had the little cardigan that I wore yesterday, not yesterday, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have the cardigan, which is the McCall's 7254, and it is a long line or a short line cardigan. You've got different versions of it. You can start off as a bolero, which you can see in the, in the construction of it. You can just have the bolero, just turn that on in, inside, which is the only reason I bought it really, because I wanted a bolero just so romantically this so that i can wear it in bed while i'm reading with my arms out <laughs> but i didn't actually ever make the bolero i have made the this jacket it's a cardigan really but it, it feels much more jackety um i added the cuff on it because i didn't like the bagginess at the end of the sleeve i cut it quite i left it too long initially and it wasn't right so i cut it again and i made it too short and that wasn't right so um, I wear it much more now that I've got a little cuff on the end and it is the same fabric, the same batch of fabric, the same piece of fabric that I made the purple dress out of that I showed you a few minutes ago. So um, that has the back, um, the different versions in the line drawings. I hope you can see that. Okay, so that's that. And then this is the dress, the purple dress that I did just show you. That is the McCall's M738 and there are the line drawings for that as well. I did version D, which is the one on the front, but um, I added four inches in length to it and I would add six inches now. Um, it's just slight, it's just great. It's absolutely great as it is, um, but I was just in, it, it's just a little bit knee lengthy for me. I like it a little bit longer, but I wore it with boots the other day and normal tights and boots. And it was, it, it looked really nice altogether. So that's fine. Um, the fabric I got, I mentioned in my, I think in the birthday video that I made about what I bought on my birthday or what I wanted to buy on my birthday. I'm out of breath now, I've been downstairs. I do love this fabric. I talked about, I have it in the viscose chalice and I did want it in the jersey. I'd had a sample of it in the jersey and I thought it's, I just really like it and I want it and I want to make it. And um, it's quite a cosy kind of a jersey. It almost looks a bit crepey on top, but that could just be because I've not pressed it. Pressed it. I press it on the back anyway. I have washed it it is ready for action but i'm not but anyway there you go i'm really loving the idea of it and i'm not quite sure now what it will be so i'll just give you a longer version of it there you go and then i'll not grab hold of it so i'll just chuck it on there and the thing i went down for was actually this pattern and this pattern is the me2016 the ME 2016 and it has quite um, specific kind of pattern pieces that are unusual. And when I first saw it, I didn't really understand why anyone would do that. It was like, it's a bit odd, but I've seen it on So Amelia, on, on Amelia at um, So Amelia and it does look lovely on her. And the thing that has brought it to my attention I was watching, because I've done much more watching than doing lately. Um, she's called Chrissy Conley, and she has made this dress out of Nerida Hansen. I think it's called Puzzle Fabric, the puzzle design, I'm not quite sure, but she has made each section in a different color of the same pattern, if you know what I mean. Um, the same design, but in a different colorway and it looks really effective. And that's what sparked my attention to it. So I thought, hmm, that is something that I could do that would really be a Susan kind of a thing. But I've no idea what I would make it with. And 
am not um I've, i have looked for the noah de hansen puzzle for that fabric but i haven't found um i think there's one colorway somewhere that i've seen but i may have repeated what she's done if i'd have spotted the fabric if you have seen any that is in i think it's called the puzzle fabric then please do let me know in the comments. I'd be very pleased to find out about it, about where I could get it possibly. And I, I particularly like the red against the purple that she'd chosen. So she's done the different, I don't know, three or four different colors in it, color ways. But um, I would be interested in the red and the purple particularly. Okay, so that's that. And I think really that's all I've got to talk to you about. I'd like to thank Jen who, um, Jen from today in Jen's sewing room who has put together the hashtag Friday sews because it just gets so many of us together that we can just instantly know if we if we get a Friday sews comes up it's going to be in a kind of gentle format of explaining what what sewing has been done what sewing's a sewing is planned maybe and how the week of uh, sewing and life has gone on so they're, they're quite nice little videos and usually just about half an hour, but can be longer or shorter. Um, so I do thank you, Jen. It's it's really nice of you to be to have even thought of this. And there are there are several hundred of us who who vlog under that tagline, um, hopefully getting it out on a Friday or nearish too. And the one thing I wanted to say, just lifestyle wise, I've mentioned about my hand being a nuisance um, and that we are moving. Some of you have watched other videos where I talk more about it, but we are moving to live in a lodge or a cabin or whatever it would be called, annex in our uh, son and daughter-in-law's garden. And um, we're looking forward to that and and over the next three to six months i think that will actually happen so um we're still working on downsizing and decluttering etc etc now before that i did talk about um, another time i did talk about my hair and um whether i was going to cut it what i was going to do with it i wasn't happy about it this that and the other about it and the only thing i'm saying at the moment which is only true for today because i could have changed my mind tomorrow um or even this afternoon. But at the moment, my plan is to grow my colour out. So um, I did think of growing of, of growing old gracefully. And, um, and for me, that still included dyeing my hair a really good, vibrant ginger. Because <laughs> there's nothing disgraceful about that, is there? Um, but at the moment, I'm quite happy with the way the sun, the little sun that we've had, um, has kind of naturally bleached the fading colour that was on it. And it's not massively, um, I've not got a massively different part in, a grey part into whatever the colour is. Um, but that could change and it might make me feel more dowdy or whatever. And if that does happen, then I will readjust my, my thinking. But just for now, that's what I'm planning to do. Well, well, I'm I'm just doing it day to day. Today I haven't coloured it. Tomorrow I probably won't colour it. And a week on Friday I may have coloured it and I may not have coloured it. But <laughs> that's just where I am at the moment. So it's not really a great interest, is it? It's not a, uh, it's not a whatever life threatening problem, is it? Susan's hair. But I'm just trying to do the best in terms of. Um, I'm back on vitamin supplements and and things just to make sure that I've got um, just all round good health. And with all round good health, then my hair may be less brittle or maybe not. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not stressed about it. Um, I'm just going to go and get some lunch now because I'm really quite hungry. And yeah, and one day I'll come on and this will be completely finished. It'll have its sleeves made right and hemmed. And I'll just put a little bit of footage in by the door um, just to show you what it's what it's like anyway. OK, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you would subscribe, I'd be really grateful. I've got 1,300. Oh, my goodness. That's on my iPad. So let me just check. Oh, no. 
So my landline is actually working. That's a rarity. I shall go now and speak to you soon. Bye.